So when the Langley Flight Foundation first contacted us to see if we were interested in building uh, one of Langley's aerodromes, the first question was, why? You know, that's it's pretty early, early flight. You know, the original example still exists, but they're kind of hidden away in portions of the Smithsonian Institution. Probably doesn't receive quite as much attention as it really deserves. So from our standpoint, it seemed like a really interesting opportunity. And for us, who like to experience history, you know, not only is this an, an opportunity to, to work with an early flying machine or a flying contraption, I guess that would probably be more appropriate, but it's also a steam-powered flying contraption. That's a pretty unusual animal. You know, we've, many people have tried over uh, many, many decades, you know, the 19th century, trying to make something that would fly with steam and most were not successful. So even though it didn't carry a, a human being on board or a pilot, the fact that a steam-powered flying machine actually flew, you know, in the time of horse-drawn and foot traffic and steam locomotives and sailing ships, that's pretty impressive. So, who could possibly pass up the chance to build an airplane powered by steam? By the middle of the 19th century, the Smithsonian had become the institution for the betterment and expansion of knowledge among men in the United States. This was the location where scientific minds met to discuss advances, concepts, ideas. By the mid-1880s, Samuel Pierpont Langley as a secretary of the Smithsonian, and probably the most respected secretary up to that time, had his offices in this building. This is where he did much work and lecturing, and he also did a lot of experiments in aeronautics, some of the first that were actually recorded. So history isn't something you just read about in books. It's not something because you see something in the museum, an artifact, a piece of clothing, History is something to be lived. In his time, Langley made some of the most interesting contraptions and experiments of his era. So some of the first experiments in mechanical flight, some of the earliest, were done here in the auspices of the Smithsonian. Think of what that would be like. We can only imagine that today. But if we could recreate that and build that and see what it was like, not only in his time, but to fly something from that period. Just imagine that. If we can go back to those horses, those carriages, those muddy streets, the fires, no electricity, and we can experience steam in flight, relive history, that's what it's all about.